Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about a code P0420, a catalyst below efficiency or some other various description similar to that. Um, the vehicle we're working on today is going to be a 97 Civic, although the information in this video is pretty universal and can be used to diagnose almost any vehicle with a catalytic converter. To effectively diagnose this P0420 code, uh, you should have a scan tool that reads live data. Uh, this is going to allow you to see what the O2 sensors are doing, what they're reading, and determine whether or not you have an O2 sensor problem or a catalytic converter problem. Potential causes of this code could be a bad catalytic converter, bad O2 sensors, or exhaust leaks. Exhaust leaks can cause incorrect O2 sensor readings, so any exhaust leaks should be repaired before proceeding with diagnosis or replacing any parts. Using your scan tool, view the live data feed. This test should be performed when the engine is warm and when you are driving. Viewing the numbers at idle will give false readings and will not allow you to determine the efficiency of the catalytic converter. So what you're looking for here is the O2 sensor voltages. Monitor sensor 1 and sensor 2. This is the sensors before and after the catalytic converter. Now what you would expect to see is uh, both of the sensors to be rapidly switching between rich and lean, so lower and higher voltages. This is what you want to see. If you're doing this test at idle, what you might notice is that sensor 2 will be kind of stuck, maybe around between 0.7 and 0.9 volts, and sensor 1 will, will switch between lower and higher voltages. If the catalytic converter is bad, or if it's doing nothing, uh, what you're what you're probably going to see is the voltages will mimic each other. So, uh, say the sensor one voltage says 0.24, sensor two voltage will say 0.24, or something around that, and you'll notice that as sensor one switches, sensor two will switch, and the numbers will be close to identical. Let's slow the video down so we can get a closer look at what these uh, O2 sensors are reading. Notice how the rear O2 sensor very closely mimics the front O2 sensor. This indicates the catalytic converter is bad. What you should expect to see if everything's working correctly is sensor 1 switching rapidly between 0.1 and 0.9 volts. You should also see a good pattern on the O2 sensor number 2. If the O2 sensor 2 is identical to the O2 sensor 1 voltages, then the catalytic converter is not efficient and should be replaced. If you don't see rapid movement on the O2 sensors, then you more likely have an O2 sensor problem. If the voltages appear to be stuck or very slowly changing between different voltages, then that O2 sensor is suspect. The catalytic converter on this particular Honda is actually in, made in one piece with the exhaust manifold, which you can see right down here at the bottom of this picture. It's under that heat shield right there. Um, another test that you can use if you don't have a scan tool, or you can use this test in addition to the scan tool, is a temperature test. Ideally, if the catalytic converter is performing like it should, you should see a difference in temperatures before and after the catalytic converter. Now, in this case, the catalytic converter is a part of the exhaust manifold, but virtually the test will still be the same. You would want to take the temperature at the very top of the exhaust manifold and at the very bottom by the flange. This is what the exhaust manifold slash catalytic converter looks like without the heat shield. What you'll need for this test is something like this digital thermometer. You'll take the temperatures where the red arrows indicate before and after the catalytic converter. What you should expect to see is the temperatures after the catalytic converter will be considerably hotter than the temperatures before the catalytic converter typically about 100 degrees or more hotter after the cat than before the cat. If the temperatures before and after the cat are virtually the same or the temperature after the cat is colder than the temperature before the cat, then the catalytic converter is not performing efficiently and should be replaced. Well, that's about it for the PO420 diagnosis. If you don't have a scan tool or a 
thermometer of some sort to measure the exhaust temperatures, then you can really only guess as to what's causing this problem. What I can tell you, if you don't have these tools, is that the most common replacement part for this PO420 code is the catalytic converter. That's not to say it's always a catalytic converter because it could be an O2 sensor as we talked about. It could also be an exhaust leak. Those are two very common things to cause the PO420 code. Now since the catalytic converter is very expensive, um, it's not something that you should guess and uh, replace it just because of this code. The best advice I can give to you is probably to invest in a thermometer. It doesn't have to be a fancy one like this one that I've showed you. You know, you could get a cheaper one on Amazon, and it is a good indicator of how the catalytic converter is performing. It might also be a good idea to take it into a shop if you're not comfortable with any of these testing procedures. Take it into a shop and pay the diagnostic fee to figure out whether it's an O2 sensor, an exhaust leak, or the catalytic converter. The last thing I'll say is this, is the PO420 code is not detrimental to your engine or vehicle. It has nothing to do with how safe it is to drive or whether it's going to break down or anything like that. It is purely an emissions related thing and many people ignore this code unless they live in a emissions county where they have to uh, have an emissions inspection. and in which case the check engine light will need to be off and this will need to be fixed before they can pass their state inspection. If you don't live in an emissions county, if you only have safety only inspections or if you don't have any state inspections, then you can basically ignore this light until you have the money to repair it. Thanks for watching.